kids, hello, 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 wherever you are and however you are watching this, it is so great to be with you guys today, hello. And today I gotta tell you about something very exciting. How many of you remember the trunk or treat we did last year, our first ever one? Well, it was pretty epic, it was awesome, and this year, we're going even bigger. That's right, on Halloween night, trick-or-treating, come to the church, come to the parking lot, we're gonna have a little map, you walk through it, go to all the cars, and get a ton of candy. So much candy. Trunk or treat, guys. Make sure you invite all your friends, bring them, because they're also gonna wanna get all of the candy. All right, well, why don't we go ahead and give Wally a call. Oh, hello, Brandon, hello. Hello, Wally, hey, uh, Wally, how are you doing this week? Well, not so great. No? Well, I I'm so sorry to hear that, Wally. What's going on? Well, I think everyone knows how much I love meatloaf. Yes, Wally, we are all aware. Well, I don't have any meatloaf. In fact, I don't have any food at all. And I'm hungry. And Brandon, to be much honesty, I am pretty irritable. Irritable? That's what I said, Brandon. Why don't you try listening with your ears? You listen, I told you that I was irritable. I mean, in all seriousness, Brandon, it is so rude when you do not listen to people. All right, well... I can see what you mean. Uh, kids? Sounds like Wally is hangry. You know, when you get so hungry, you get angry? Hangry. Well, uh, Brandon, what did you say? I was not listening. Uh, well, Wally, today our Bible story has something to do with some very hangry people. And to get us started, I actually have a game about food. It's called Eat it or yeet it. All right, I'm going to give you guys a food, and you all have to decide if you want to eat it. Put your hand in your mouth like this. Eat it or yeet it, which means like throw it. So eat it or yeet it. Ready? Food number one, ranch. You're not like dipping things in ranch. Do you want to just eat ranch? or do you want to yeet it? All right, food number two, whipped topping. You want to eat it straight or boo, yeet it away? All right, this one should be easy. Sausage in a can. Please don't eat it. Pineapple on pizza. Eat it or yeet it. La, 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 la. Eat it. This is like my favorite kind of pizza. It's so good. You should all do it. Pineapple on pizza is good. It says so in my brain. All right, here's this will be interesting. Seafood. Just all the seafood. All right, Halloween coming up. We gotta get some candy ones in there. How about black jelly beans? Um, I don't understand this one, but mustard on watermelon? All right, last one, medium rare steak. The way it is meant to be. I hope you all said eat it for that one. Brandon, none of those were meatloaf. So I would yeet all of them. Where's my meatloaf? What are you trying to do to me? Oh, uh, Wally, um, 
Well, today our Bible story is about some very hungry people who needed some help. I need some help. Well, before we head over to Grow TV, I'm going to say some ways that you could help people. And I want you to put your hand in the air and give me on a scale of one to five, how likely would you be to do it, to help the people? One means no way, not going to do it. And five means, yeah, I can't wait to go help. Okay, we'll get your hand up. Here we go. Helping your dad pick up dog poo in the backyard. One to five. Okay, all right, here we go. Next one, helping your grandma unload the groceries from the store. Yeah, I mean, that one should be a five. Go help your grandma, that's important. All right, the next one, number three, helping teach your little sister how to ride a bike. One, two, three, four, five. What is it? Put your hand up. Okay, here we go. Last one. Helping set the table for dinner. How likely are you to do that? Oh, Brandon, that was quite fun. In fact, I have a couple myself. Ready? Helping your tour guide trap some penguins for dinner. Wally, no, 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 no. Put your hands out, no. Fine, fine, fine. How about this one? How about helping a dinosaur mow their yard? Wally, di dinosaurs, dinosaurs don't have yards. I meant you, Brandon, because you are so old, you are a dinosaur. Yeah, we, we get it, Wally. Okay, okay, one more, one more. Helping one of your best friends friends and one of the greatest people on earth find their favorite meal you you mean helping you find some meatloaf well brandon thank you yes that would be so kind kids go check out grow tv
Hey, Wally, why don't you tell me some of the things you learned about Moses this month? About who? Mo Moses? Big Momo? Moses? Does he have meatloaf? No. Um, he, he's been the, the main character in the Bible stories we've been doing the last couple of weeks. You know, some, some of these really crazy stories. The only crazy story that I care about is one where I get meatloaf. Maybe God can sprinkle some meatloaf on the ground like he did manna for the Israelites. Well, yeah, actually, yeah, there you go. That, that was part of his story. Wait, was he the same guy that was a baby and saved by the Egyptian princess and then grew up in the Egyptian palace? Yeah. Then God talked to him through that burning bush, told him to go back to Egypt. To set God's people free from the slavery. Yeah, Wally, that's right. And then there were all those crazy plagues with the frogs and the flies. And eventually the people were set free. Wally, yes, yeah, you're getting it. And then he led all the people to the promised land to tackle Bell so they could get some meatloaf. Yeah, Wally. Oh, oh no. Oh, Wally, you were so close. Uh... And I don't, I don't think they have meatloaf at Taco Bell. Well, Brandon, then why do you like it? All right, kids, how about a recap quiz? Question number one, according to our big idea, who helps us help others? Is it A, Wally, B, God, C, the weird tech guys, or D, baristas? The answer is B, God. God helps us help others. Question number two. In today's story, what did the Israelites do after they left Egypt? A. Complained. B. Partied. C. Invented tacos. D. Rode around on dinosaurs. The answer is A. They complained. Which is weird. They were just freed from being slaves. But I guess living in the desert kind of stinks. Ah. Question number three, what did Moses do when he heard the people complaining? A, told them to shut up and be happy. B, tried to help them all himself. C, asked God for help. D, he just ignored them. C, he asked God for help because God helps us help others. Question number four, true or false, God helps us help others. True! All right, kids, we will see you next time. Don't forget to tell all your friends about Trunk or Treat because there's going to be lots of candy. And if you guys don't come and get the candy, that means I have to eat it all. So wait a minute.